And as Amber takes a nice, quiet, well-deserved nap, I should say, in the hammock, the manager of the resort goes over strict touring instructions. 20 yards path, and the main path on the forest, the T. You go to the right, you are not allowed to go on your own to the left, because there is a village. Okay. You are not allowed to go to the village on your own, yes? So you cannot go left. You only go to the right for a while until you speak and you get lost. If you, want, if you want to really get to the bridge or to the bath cave, you need a guide. You can even <laughs> combine two activities. If you want to walk because the bridge is one and a half hours, the village of Rick is two and a half hours. You can combine any of these two stages with a scenic boat ride that will meet you from there and around you to see the island also from the boat so you don't backtrack your way if you want. Yes? This is just options for you. Or you can walk a little bit on your own and back, or to the bridge and back, or to the village of Brickets and back. Or just don't walk at all and take a boat and see the island. All of these are options. Yes? You had an introduction yesterday, mm -hmm. so you remember what you, you can do, yes? If you want to do fishing and snorkeling, you can combine them in one boat. There is no extra charge. You can be fishing while you get to snorkeling, then swim, snorkel, and come back. Yeah? Now, okay. In the history of this island. Yes. Moses comes from one of the original families of the Dublin Island. This land. Yes. Hmm. During these days, at that time, I knew I taught by my grand forefather. They teach me, explain things. Just like you ask me a question now, you try to know for me. I try to know for my elders. Yes. Then this land belongs to this crew. Mm. that bring different family. Yes. And then I'm the first man who set the highest record by swimming. Where did you swim? From the island, that small island mm. after Kent to Banana Island. Ah. You swam the ocean to this yes. place? During President um, Shaka Shaka Steven times. Shaka Steven. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was a very young on the island. So I I was a small boy at the age of 20 years trying to pay visit to Kent. On my way back, I was on board that boat. We were 28 on board. Five of us were rescued. Mm. by me swimming from that direction to this direction. Hmm. The yes. boat had tipped or what happened? It's overloaded. Overloaded. Yes. On our way coming back, every storm. Yes. So we have this incident. Yes. I'm one of you. Yes. Lucky to be alive. Mm. I'm telling you too. Mm. What happened here during the wartime when oh, there was this uh, yes. entire RUF and yes, everything going on? I will on. explain to yes. you. Now, in this period, we never knew something going on so great. We listened to radio from different positions coming to Banana. More than 1,000 people coming, all coming to Banana, different people telling us there's big problem the rubble are around hmm. the Nisila and all the rest of it. We try to seek refuge. In those periods um, we find out the rubble joined this team to come in and we make self-defense. Hmm. We organize the youth to be attentive at all beach shutting people to detect the rubble with guns or what. And we catch them. Mm. We protect people. Even Freetown come to Banana Island to have food. Yeah. It's difficult. But people come from Guinea to Banana Island. From Bond all the district to Banana Island with food. So we help each other. Okay. <laughs>
we do planting during the rainy season because we believe in natural art by planting food for ourselves. We buy few in free time because we don't have time to go like onions or have thin tomato or have some different type of seasons. So go like pepper, cassava, um, yam, banana, different type of foods, crops and um, foods. So we eat natural because it's necessary to leave the food in the island when it's good. It's nice to eat than cutting them earlier. I'm sure that's why we are still living without different type of disease. Mm. Yes. Demo, look yourself. I never saw him this magazine. He's a new. Every year they put new magazine with Dadimo face. Look at him. Bad boy. Dadimo is a bad boy. <laughs> oh, that's a great picture too. Yes. Look at that. I try to promote. You take a coke. Yes. A coke. And a... Can you go in the bush and you find some tree that has special leaves or special bark? No, of course, so many. Okay. Who? Yeah. That cure malaria, stomachache. Everyone is okay. <laughs> and even weak in the legs. We can do it on bush treatment. Okay. Yes. Even snake bite or spider bite or scorpion, we can kill for ourselves than okay. going to hospital. We, do, we believe in leaves and some trees, the body of some trees, kill malaria. Okay. We have moringa, all this type of stop to prepare ourselves or guide ourselves from malaria yes have you heard of moringa do you all know that plant you know that plant? it's, moringa? it's a tropical tree the yes. leaves are very powerful with some medicinal yes. and also the seeds and the seeds yes, yes. just two two of the seeds for a long time you will never experience malaria Yes. We were taught by one doctor, Madame Eva Robot. He won a reward to cure malaria by using um, the seeds of this um, moringa plant. Moses is widely known as being one of the best tour guides right here on the island, but he wasn't feeling well. So, we actually had the pleasure of having a guy named Eric be our tour guide. Someone that Moses has trained is supposed to be really, really good. And he was. Now what you're seeing here is pretty cool, but really historical. The guy here who's pulling the well water out of a well that's been used by his ancestors for hundreds of years. This same well is still used to quench the thirst of all in the village even now. and donate some amount of money to become a children. They do it more high. But before it will rise over there. Okay? Now we're going to see the building. You start one thing. 
This was the original building. It was the original church. I have a question. Come right behind so you can see. Oh. Come right behind here. Eric, we have a Make sure you don't forget Eric. This is the bell for the school. Drink it. I may able to remove the iron. Do you use that stick? No, no, no. You have to use the iron just like the one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Something that is not bad, I don't know why. <laughs> This is the net of Mr. Jones, who's an ag teacher here at the school. This lift came from that way. From that way, the ship came from that way. They go straight to the main abo. They have to walk through the park. They kept all of the things here. The jars were here. There was a very good in here. The place was clean. It was perfect. Absolutely. There was no tree like this. The whole thing was clean. And over there, the peach. That peach was used some of the slaves. Some of the slaves we became so stubborn after they have to bring them all the way here. Someone to put them fight. See? Eric is describing this pit. A pit he claims holds the skeletal remains of slaves who were discarded. If they complained about being a slave, the heat, not having food, or just being tired, they would be thrown into this pit, according to Eric a pit that was never properly closed. Thanks. Come again. Still there. Soon as you enter into the heaven. Yeah. One of the most beautiful guest house on this island. This is? It was well planned. But presently, it's closed. When you turn on the generator, University of Illinois in Champaign Urbana. Oh, I was born in the Quad Cities. Oh wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's the owner of this place. I was like. And what's your name? Emily. 
Emily, what's your last name? Stanger. Oh, okay. Bailey. How long yeah. have you been here? She's doing all this place. Uh, I've lived in Toledo four and a half years. And this is Gabriel. Hello, Gabriel. Hello. You say hi? Oh no. Oh, you're way yeah. up with yourself. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the Quad Cities. Uh, Davenport. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow! Amazing! Small world! Yeah. Okay, so what are you guys doing here? They're trying to do another bungalow here. They're trying to do another bungalow here, right here. Yeah. <laughs> it will look so beautiful, man. Oh my god. I don't think you can this. Good, how are you? Thank you, same to you. Nice to meet you. Blessings on you. Nice. Uh, Gabriella, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, so is she the head lady on this one? Did you say hello? Hello. I'm Janice. I'm Elizabeth. Nice to meet you. My ma my Mende name is Maginda. Oh, Maginda. Maginda. I'm Sierra Leonean. I know Maginda. Maginda. Um, Mende. Yes. Nice to meet you. Stay with my family. Okay. Wonderful. What a great trip, what a great stay, what a great island, and what great people. Everyone was so, so nice. Well, it was almost time to leave this beautiful island, full of history, family, and quiet development. And as we made our way back to our lodging area to pack up and get ready to head back to Kent, we learned of our next destination, had time to have a short lesson in Mindy, and then headed to the boats to go on to our next adventure. through southern 
Sierra Leone. This junction, Taima, is the way to get to where Amber is at Njala, but we're not planning to go there today. We're gonna stop in Bo. Uh, we'll probably stop at Mashaka, which is right there. Mashaka is a main junction between the northern part of Sierra Leone and the southern part. The northern part go to Port Oco, Lunsar, and over to McKinney. Um, we'll go to Bo. We'll get on this road down here towards from Bo to Kori Bundu. This junction is past Bandajuma, over to Kotaru. And then we go on a little dirt road over here to this Nahun. Or somewhere right in there, there's a little village along the river that we take for boat then to TY. We'll park the vehicles in that little uh, village and cross over. And the road is um, great to bow, pretty good down to here, and they're doing construction on this part of the road, so we'll just see how it is. It'll be a dirt road probably. I don't think and what does that mean? What's the first one mean? B-A-E dot how do you sleep? B-A-E. And the second one? Kaigoma, give thanks to God. Kaigoma, give thanks to God. That's Mende. These yes. are my Mende brothers teaching me Mende, my tribal language. <laughs> All right. Hold on, say, you say your name. What, you, what, hold on, <laughs> hold on. Oh, you're so close. <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Oh, there's one. Who's over there? Who's over there? Uh, Okay. Oh, we gotta get that shot right there. Look at you right there. Okay. 